Hi everyone, this is Lisa Perry with Perry Productions. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you in person today, but wanted to record this video so that we could give you a marketing update on what we're doing and the strategies behind it and kind of what we're seeing so far. Um, so an update on membership retention. You'll recall that we have two goals for retention and for growth. And this is what we've been working on so far. Um, first of all, we developed a six week virtual engagement email campaign, giving actionable tips and resources. And the main reason for doing this was because we had to delay the um, annual meeting and we wanted people to know that you could still connect with each other and network with each other, but we wanted to give really true actionable tips that they could incorporate into their marketing right away. So we felt like that was just another resource that the chamber could offer to its members to help them connect virtually when they weren't seeing each other in person. Um, one of the things we did within that engagement series was promoting the Facebook group, that private group for members only, um, so that they could connect and promote their businesses together. And in addition to that, we've been doing some prompts to get them talking as well. And we've seen some good efforts there. I'll show you on the next slide kind of what we're seeing. Um, and the last thing we've been re working on so far for membership retention is a new member email drip campaign. And a drip campaign is uh, a, an email that goes out. Um, you can just enter someone's email list or, or email address I'm sorry and that email goes out to them on a cadence of one month um, and then 10 months but it's every time they get it from when they join and so we feel like that's something that uh, the chamber had been working on that Paige had started to develop and we're going to help her get that incorporated into um, onboarding new members and hopefully retaining members. So last week we actually recorded some videos with Paige. Um, the first one is going to be an email that goes out to new members their first month. And it's got a really great video message from Paige talking about how members can get plugged in and access resources. And we just think it's a great way for them to see Paige, for her to give them a welcome to the chamber, as well as that email will have links to all kinds of things on the website, to the Facebook group, so they can get plugged in right away. And then we talked about an anniversary email video message from Paige as well. And we decided to do it at month 10 before they get their e um, uh, renewal notice to pay their dues. Um, so we thought this would be a great way to have a positive thing come at them about, hey, you've already been a, a member of the chamber for almost a year. How about we look at expanding your involvement in year two? So we're making the assumption that they're gonna renew and retain their membership. And we think this will be great for those people who maybe only did a ribbon cutting reminder of how they can get involved. So we'll be sharing with you those wonderful videos that Paige did. She did a great job um, on those and we're working on the editing on those and hope to have those up and running in the next couple um, weeks. And then back to the Facebook group, what I love is when we put something out there and we have a purpose for it. So, you know, within that um, campaign we did, we've seen 24 new people join the group in just the last few weeks. And that's 175% increase in people joining the group because we've got a focused effort on getting them engaged. And then what we're doing once they're in the group if we, is we've started these prompts like this Wellness Wednesday one, and we're seeing members actually participate and comment and share what's going on. And the thing I love about this is that this was Barbie's idea to, hey, put let's put this Healthy Workplace uh, toolkit back out there because this is something the chamber put time and energy into developing. So we're taking a resource that the chamber has, we're putting it in our Facebook group where we're trying to engage our members and they're actually doing that. So this is the kind of purposeful marketing that we're looking at doing to really engage members. And then on the membership growth side, we spent some time looking at what the website analytics have been over the past year, so in 2021, so that we would have a baseline for where we hope it'll be headed. Because we're doing more links to the website in emails and in social media posts, we're hoping that's gonna push more traffic to the website. But we also use these 
stats to figure out what else can we do to drive traffic. And one of the things that really stood out to me was you can see that some of the traffic is coming from our partners um, at the cities and municipalities um, within Cabarrus County. And, even, and so we feel like look at the opportunities that are here when Midland is one of our second biggest referring um, municipalities and Kannapolis uh, really only has a few, which it's probably a more robust, more visited website. It probably just doesn't have a good link to the chamber on it. So what we can do for marketing and, and towards membership growth is let's get those partners good content and ask them to put a link to the chamber and what's the benefit of being a chamber member on these partner websites. In addition to that, um, you can see some of these other links and other opportunities that we may have, um, you know, to get links on other people's websites to the chamber. So that can be another focused membership growth effort is for us to get those websites, good content, and ask them to put links to our website on there. In addition to that, we wanted to look at what is the comparison of website traffic from 2021 to 2022 in just January? So January is really the, the first big month that we've had steady content and e-newsletters going out. And you can see that we have had a 23 to 25% increase in just one month in unique visitors, which is um, by IP address, and then just visits in general and even new visits. So that's new people coming to the site. Um, and then page views are up 25%. So that's just one month of having these focused efforts. So we're really excited about where we're headed. Um, also just wanted to show you that pretty soon you're gonna see, and we took some of the slides that from Barbie's presentation that was the 2000 or the 2021 year in review. And Avalyn made this awesome graphic that's a summary of that. People love infographics instead of reading something that they can see. And it's a really nice snapshot of what is the makeup of the chamber? How much work do they do? Um, and she's also working on um, with the mission and vision campaign. She's working on those connect, um, you know, how how is the mission and vision going to show up on social media as well, letting people know about this new focused mission that the chamber has. So you'll start to see those things as well. And hopefully that's going to attract new members who are excited about being members of the chamber. Um, so just wanted to give you a quick update on what we're doing, where we're headed. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, but that's my update and I hope you all have a great day.